coach, uh, the result in Goa has changed the whole complexion of the tie. Uh, what were your instructions to the team at the half time and at the last water break of the match? Look, half time we talk about the same things, you know, how to tweak things, how to become better for the second half and also believe we will score goal because um, that's that's our strength. And um, that was basically it, you know, just to stick stick to our processes and just do it better and quicker and believe we will we will score goal. So and uh, we believe it, we believe on the, on the, until the end and um, get rewarded. Your impact against Goa was very crucial as it helped the team to make a comeback. Um, what were your emotions after the full time it, like, it feels very good to help the team. So it was an honor to, like, it, it's my job to be honest. Like, I just, I am there to, as a midfielder, to create chances. So that's all what I did. It was nothing like, Extraordinary thing, but it was my job to do. Uh, coach, uh, regardless, regardless of the match tomorrow, uh, how proud uh, you would be at the team and the staff for all the effort this season? Oh, look, this season we it's unbelievable. You know, all all guys, all team, and all staff doing fantastic job. You know, it's uh, I'm very proud of all of them. You know, so. Regardless what happen um, next game or, or after, you know it's we have very good season. You know it's uh, wasn't easy. You know there was there was a couple of setbacks as everyone knows, but you know we we can be just proud of ourselves how we handle it and how we keep going. You know so it's not it's not easy football. It's hard hard place to to be sometimes. But again, what's what I really like on this group is they stick together. You know in hard times and push through it. So I'm very proud of every single one of them. Um, there is the team's mentality as mentioned by the coach. It's something which is discussed and appreciated by everyone. Um, so any words on that now that you're a player and you, every day you train with the players. So how is the mentality of the players going to you? The mentality has been like top class since the start. It's. We have been together, we have stayed together in the good times and difficult times, but the main thing was we were together. So that's the main strength of the team and that's what we have to do till the end now, be together. Um, and Jais, what do you think about FC Goa? I mean, uh, they're a very good side and how do you as an MCFC player are trying to stop them tomorrow? We just do simple things like we we do what we have to do. Watch coach, uh, coach has said like we will stick to the plan, and go and go for the win. And obviously they are a good team. They will come here to fight, and we have to give them a fight and <laughs> win the game. Um, coach, the substitutions in the last match uh, they largely give very good impact on the match. So what was going through your mind when you did the last couple of substitutions in the match? Look for what was going every every game in my mind, you know, when when you're down two nil ninety minutes or you know, games going to the over, you know, how can I help the team, you know, with with substitutions, with the new energy and you know, that's 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 was basically coming through our minds, you know, how we can help them on the pitch to to change it, you know, and uh we did what we did, you know, uh, it was whole team effort, you know, whole team thinking behind it, how we can help them. And as I said to boys before, you know, the, the bench is important more than anyone else, you know, on the pitch, how you come come in and make an impact. And and they did, you know, so I'm just be, uh, I'm very happy about that. You know, that's, I'm happy for the boys and for the team because they deserve it, you know, because uh, this is the, this is the times where you're losing two nils, 90 minutes, and everyone thinks maybe it's it's finished, it's done. But you know they come in and make a difference. So I'm very happy for it, and and hopefully we'll keep going forward. Yeah. So, sir, uh, question to you: uh, You were signed won the game uh, in the first leg, but were you happy about the general play in the first 90 minutes? And what is what is your learning from the first leg, and what? Yeah, that's correct. Because again, on, if you put it in perspective, we were losing two 0 in ninety minutes. Yeah, so that wasn't everything perfect. So we we addressed that. We we tried to fix that polish. 
you know, how we can uh, avoid that to go 2 nil down because we knew Goa is a very, very good team. So it's, again, for, for us, that game's gone. Now we have to learn for what happened and it's, and it's not going to happen again. So uh, we work on it. We will work on it today again, you know, so make it, make it easier for boys to understand what, what we need to do in order to succeed. So as you said, rightly so, it's, uh, you know, if you put it in perspective, two nil down ninety minutes. So we need to we need to push. We need to be, get better, you know, to in order to get the result. Uh, and after the performance put in by Jayesh, uh, is there a chance for him to start in the next game? Yeah, we will see how we train today. <laughs> you know, we are all based by by training and attitude on training. So again, um, he deserves more. Maybe sometimes what he get, but he's a very good player. He. He knows we value him very highly, you know, and uh, and again when he get the chance, he he's doing very well. So we will see, we will see how the other players also coming after today training, and then we make a decision who start and who's not. And Akash Mishra, is he injured for the next game, or is he available? Yeah, Akash unfortunately is injured, so he will not available. But uh, yeah, we've got another another people who can can step in and do the job. I think it's the the attitude. You know, we we have to be switch on. You know, and um, just make sure our attitude and how approach our, for the game is it's the right one. You know, we need to start very well. You know, we need to keep going and finish very well. So, for me, it will be mindset. You know, and play and stick to our processes and do it right and do it quick. You know, and uh, believe in ourselves the whole game through. You know, be brave. You know, press and all this, all the stuff what we what we usually do. You know. It's a it's a game ninety minutes maybe maybe more so we just have to go and uh, go for it that's that's what I want from all our all our players and staff you know just be brave and play our football and you know enjoy it but work hard. Uh, question to Jayesh, uh, the plays you made last game that resulted in two goals were they rehearsed? Did the team work on it in training or was it just in the moment? In the Obviously we worked on it. We were we were doing the. The final third passes, like through passes and everything, so it helped. All right, and uh, you have filled in for in multiple roles this season. How have the team needed you as substitute? But what is your preferred position? Is it left, right, center, and why? I think the number ten in midfield is the perfect position for me. I think because I tried playing on the wings also in the Super Cup, but it didn't work well. So and you have made some good contributions this season. What is your biggest strength on the pitch according to you and what is something you need to work on more looking at your performances this season according to you? Biggest strength? I, I don't know, maybe coach does it, so I don't know. I just give my best, like that's my biggest strength maybe. I just I just go in, I try to, I, I like to work hard, I like to run, I like to like play simple passes maybe and that's it, That that's my biggest strength and I have to work on there is always something to work on, like no matter what. So I just train every day and do my best. That's it. Question to uh, Maduro Matias is a seasoned manager in ISL. Have you had a chat with him yet about your time spent in the Indian Super League and what are your thoughts on him? Um, not really like uh, with him, but you know, we, we chat about India like we do normally, you know, how we're enjoying it and how good opportunities, you know, and how we can uh, contribute to this to this sport in this country, you know, and as much can help the develop players and, and the sport. So, yeah, just normal chat, you know, before the games and, you know, that's that's basically it. All right. Uh, lastly, the final is going to be held at the final stadium. That is ha ranked higher in the league standings. So, do you think it is fair or because it's always better if the final is in a neutral stadium, in a neutral uh, ground. So, would you like to comment on that? It's a matter of opinion, you know. For for us, it's a bit far for to look at where where is it. We have to look at the game in Goa tomorrow, you know. So that's the most important thing. So priorities first, and then it is what it is. You know, I can't change it anyway. So you know, be honest. For me, I don't care where I play. You know, because we approach the game and um, we have to believe ourselves how we play. It doesn't matter where. So for me, 
uh, again, uh, it is what it is. So we just need to focus on, on go on tomorrow. Uh, I have two questions. One about the updates on Noguera, and secondly about uh, you know Lalit Zona Chante's performance in the first leg. Any thoughts on this? Yeah, look, um, um, Alberto is uh, going to train today, so we will see how he how he goes, and uh, hopefully he'll be available for selection. And uh, Chante again, uh, Chante is a very good player. Everyone knows that. You know, it's one of the best in India, in my opinion. You know, so he's doing well, and now he's doing. Uh, what he needs to do, helping the team, you know, work hard, scoring goals. So we 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 help him, and he's very good players, and he did everything possible to bounce back from the start of the season in terms of scoring goals and contributing to the team. And he does it now, and we are very very happy for it. Whole team uh, appreciate him, and you know he deserves all recognition what he can at the moment because he's a very good player. Uh, as now the one goal advantage for Mumbai City FC. And playing tomorrow at at the home Mumbai Football Arena, how does it look? How do you look ahead for the game because it's going to be very very intensive game. Because even FC Goa are looking to avenge their lead to, but you know obviously there will be a neck to neck competition. Obviously, Noah Sadoy, I mean players like Boris Singh and other other players like you know Brandon Fernandez doing very well for FC Goa. So it is going to be a very difficult game. So how do you look forward for this game, and how do you how do you challenge as a team to go ahead for the, for tomorrow's game? Yeah, for me, it's uh, we know it will be a difficult game. You know, go is quality team. We know that we have to respect that. But uh, for me, what happened last game doesn't matter. For me, it's still nil nil. You know, and who wins this game? Uh, going through. You know, so that that's the ma- that's the main message for for the boys. So. It's it's starting nil nil, you know, and we have to go for a win. We have to go and play our football, you know, and uh, make sure the the threats are, you know, look after, you know, their strengths and uh, and use our our power to play our football and and score goals, you know. So as per usual, you know, for me it's 90 minutes against 11 11 players on the, on the pitch, you know, we play home, so we have to we have to go for it. So it's game like like the other. Uh, just go and win, win the game. Jayesh, my question actually. Last uh, match, we played against Obviously, so just like just like just like substitution came and your contribution came to assist. The most important thing in that match and in the upcoming matches, what will be the most important thing for you as a player? Job, coach, you. As I said, like as a player, my job is to score goals. Give everything for the team. That's what I'll do. Whether I come in as a substitute, as a, whether I play in the start, anything like I just get, I just have to give my best, and the result will follow whatever it is. Coach, uh, tomorrow it's a sold out game, and uh, what we are hearing is going to be a very big game. Is going to be a thing. Any message to the fans? Because obviously it's going to be more important, more crucial because it's a semi final leg two, and it's going to be a cracking of a game on tomorrow. Yeah, look. We first, first of all, I want to say thank you, big thank you for the fans who travel to to Goa because it's fantastic support, you know. And uh, we we are very happy we can deliver what we deliver there, you know. And uh, I'm very happy when uh, the stadiums are full for these occasions. And uh, I just want to tell the fans where we will work very hard to deliver, you know. So we will we will dig dig deep, you know, to to make sure we don't disappoint. You know, boys are ready, and they will put their heart and soul on the pitch for the fans. To make sure they are happy after the game. Uh, coach, uh, I've got a, I've got a more of a game perspective like question. How do you assess the one v one situations that were present along the left and the right flanks? There was Serdar Fernandez on the right, Jai Gupta on the left. They were marking your wingers. They were shutting them down throughout the game. Brandon Fernandez controlling that midfield and trying to toy around with the midfielders. And then comes the man on your left and then creates the magic in the uh, right at the end of the game. So how do you assess that? Because Vikram Bhatta was finding it difficult, and then Mehta finding it difficult uh, to face the pace of Yasir, and then you know the goal that were conceded, and again Brandon finding the gap. When when the game is shifted to Mumbai Football Arena, how do you assess these minute battles that can create a larger uh, impact uh, at the end of the game? Yeah, look, we analyze the game and try to find a solution for that. That's 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 our job. So we we try to find the solutions how we can help the team, you know, during the trainings, and uh, that's what we try to do, you know. So how we can help the wingers, how we can help the the exposed opposition. So 
we are fully aware of uh, what Goa can do to us, but we also know how we can we can deal with that. This is very important. You know the answers why why it's happening. We need we need to know and also react to it appropriately with the players' characteristics about it and help the team to to find the solutions. You know so. Yeah, it's again. This is the this is the fun fun part of the football where we we have to be thorough on on a video analysis and help the team and reviews and uh, and try to make it better for the next game. So we we try to do that. We will see tomorrow how how it works. Great. And just to follow up to that, uh, one of my colleagues just mentioned about the injuries and the way the players have to play. So how proud of, are you of the fact that you know every time there's some situation, there's some setback, there's a player who's turning up and then creating the difference. You know, how is that feeling like when you are leading the dugout and when you are taking, when you are, you know, having that speech session after every every game? So how happy are you to see that effort from each and every person through training or through game? Time? And this is this is the hardest part for a for a coach or, or team, but this is what I'm proud of what we created here. You know, because players have to understand where they, this is not about just 11 players on the pitch. It's it's whole team, even 23 players, 23rd player. It's important because some of the stage of the season. They will be needed, you know. That's why they are here, not just to, you know, be part of the team, but contribute. Sometimes you contribute less, sometimes you contribute more, but everyone is important, and we try to give them as much opportunity we we can. But then you know you have the right people on the right place. When they get the opportunities, they go and fight for the team, fight for the club, you know. So this is what we want to create a culture here where we are all in together. You know, if we win, we win together. If we lose, we will lose together. That's that's us. You know. So, uh, as I said, you know, eleven players only can play. But when we have players who can contribute, maybe one or two games, but they do well. You know, they they fight for the teams and they they deliver the the result. It's fantastic feeling for the for the team. So this is something what we embrace here. You know, and uh, what that's what we want. We want our team players. We want our players who. Who are ready to step in and just waiting, you know, for a chance. Please give me the chance. I show you who I am. So, I'm very proud of it. Thank you, coach. And I'll just change languages for Jayesh on this one. Uh, Jayesh, short cha five minutes. Madhe, jekar bo to mana madhe ki ma jete transition karay chhe kai kono ti opportunity mayala var ki ball lag kuchle kahi koru bol chaat madhe takay jate. Tar kya transition madhe asta na tuji thought process ko amal explain kare. I understand. Kya te five minutes ko kai bo to to mana madhe ani game madhe. मराठी मध्य बोलू इंग्लिश मध्य नहीं एक्स्ट्रॉडनरी नोक नहीं आम जाऊ है पांच मिनट आम तीन गोल मारना चाहिए डोक न ऑब्विस्ली सगैंधनी थोड़ा मे डाउन जाए होते ते लोग डॉमिनेट करते होते स्टार्ट में पांच गोल आम्मी तीन गोल मारे आधी लोग डॉमिनेट करते होते पन आमच होता कि चल कसापन कर एक गोल तो भेटावा कि नर आम फाइट कराला का ही है पन चल एक दोन तीन जेपन बेस्ट जा ऑब्विस्ली जर ट्रेनिंग मे पी आम्मी कम बैक करते तो सैलिब्रेट तो है तो मे सगे एकदम एकत्र करते होते दैट दैट ऑल्सो हेल्प्स द टीम लाइक वी द नेक्स्ट गेम वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वे वी एंडेड सो इट्स अ गुड थिंग फैंस तो एक आम्मी आम सपोर्ट करा आम पार्टीशी रहा बस थैंक यू थैंक यू कोच थैंक यू जयेश थैंक यू गाइस